Hey everyone, STM Kuna and I am back again, this time doing a slight twist on the Racing with the Kuna. I'm doing a quick review on this little app I found, P Cars Dash for Project Cars by Pocket Playground. I'm going to pop the URL on screen in some larger text so you can all see it. I have downloaded this and I can't recommend it enough, I'm going to talk you through it right about now. The current version is version 1.9 so on App Store and on Google Play that's probably the version you're going to get. It's a very very small download but 2 meg. Let's use the screen cut now because I'm installing it at the moment and it splits my feed between the two screens. Kind of blanked that out there. So it's a very simple setup. It's literally download, set your directory and install. Two clicks, the MSI application, boom, you're done. Now what is quite nice, when you get the app for your phone you will obviously need to download it. Uh, it will tell you what IP your phone is using. You can also configure it to use input button controls to switch to the display that this little dash app shows you. So I've got it set to one of my switches on the steering wheel and you start the transmitter. So if you haven't already done so, get your phone, go into the App Store, go into Google Play, search for P Cars Dash. Now the app is £2.99. It's not a great deal and while we wait for the camera to focus, there we go. P cars dash by pocket playground probably one of the best 299s you will ever spend if it just adds a little extra something and i can't recommend it enough now one thing i do have is i do have a, a joby gorilla pod uh mount for my phone which is really really handy because i can mount it on top of my wheel unfortunately i can't get a damn usb plug to go in but there we go so this was just a quick test to make sure that it wasn't going to fall off at full lock and full tilt a little bit of a wobble a little bit of a worry but there you go now now that i'm finally happy that that's secure the last little bit of configuration you need to do is go into options and help go into visuals scroll along the hardware and make sure used shared memory is selected. And that's it. Make sure it's transmitting. Make sure you've got your IP plugged in. And you're good to go. Now it will transmit instantly. There's like zero lag. Now I'm going to apologize ahead of time for the driving here. I had, the, I had to get the tripod so close it was actually rubbing against the wheel. And I was having a hard time turning it. So as you can see here it's reading out. Now I'm flicking through. You've got multiple different views. You've got rev counter, uh, lap times real-time telemetry, uh, track map, temps, gear, it will even track pedal and uh, it will track multiple pedal inputs, so accelerator, brake, clutch, it will show your individual tyre temperatures, uh, it's just phenomenal the amount of information this thing is pulling out of the game. Uh, it's a really good looking application, it's super super fast, I could see no latency at all, so here you see me downshifting in a second, speedo readout, and you can see it tying up with what's being displayed on the on-screen display as well. So if you want to minimize what's happening on screen, you can switch off all the HUD, drive in whatever view you like. The, the real-time telemetry is fantastic though, really difficult to look at while you're driving, but where that would be quite handy is pulling out the pits and having a look at like your, your session lap times and look for any inconsistencies and trying not to drive off track but i am steering with one hand and changing gears with one hand as well so kudos to project playground this is a big shout out this is not a paid advert i just kind of looked this up and thought you know what i'm gonna do a shout out about this app if you haven't seen it it's well worth your attention show them a little bit of uh interest and fantastic i am sdm kahuna and i am signing off